While many dream of finding buried treasure, the story of the recovery of the Steamboat Arabia is that dream come to life. It took the spirit of adventure, incredible resolve, and an extensive engineering feat to bring the massive treasure hoard from the Steamboat Arabia back into the world for all to see. Working in the icy cold of winter for four months during 1988 to 1989, when the water table is lower and the crops were not growing in the fields, the determined team faced months of frigid, wet, muddy, intensive labor to reach the artifacts that had been buried for 132 years. It was an unprecedented undertaking to preserve and restore 200 tons of pre-Civil War artifacts. The amount of goods recovered is so extensive that the process of restoration on the artifacts will be continuing for many years to come. Painstakingly recovered from the dig is the main structure of one of the paddle wheels, a boiler, one of the engines, and the stern of the boat. Details on these engineering marvels of their time are presented throughout the main floor area of the museum. The layout of the floor in this main room has been constructed to represent the exact shape and size of the deck of the riverboat. To help visitors gain a sense of the size and scale of the boat, the recovered boiler can be found in the center of the main room and the same spot where they were located on the Arabia. The Arabia and other steamboats like her operated during the time of the great western expansion in the United States. The Santa Fe Trail, the Oregon Trail, and the California Trail operated as major transportation hubs in the Midwest from the mid-1820s to the 1870s. The great era of steamboat traffic along the Missouri River existed from about 1830 through 1920 as traffic steadily increased as an alternative means of transport for people and supplies. The steamboat managed to be a relevant form of transportation for quite some time after its contemporaries like the covered wagons that traveled along the westward trails had ceased. It continued well into the age of the railroad which began in the Kansas City area in 1865, just nine years after the Steamboat Arabia made its final journey. Steamboats like the Arabia were fueled by burning wood. Along the Missouri River, free timber was abundant. Massive ancient trees lined the banks of the river. As the fuel supply diminished, crew members were instructed to cut down timber that was needed along the way. The Steamboat Arabia was estimated to consume up to 30 cords of wood a day. After several decades of riverboat travel, this solution led to the destruction as river banks eroded and stumps of felled trees slid down the banks and into the water. Not visible from the surface, a large stump could easily damage a ship's hull and often did. The Steamboat Arabia Museum houses the nation's largest selection of pre-Civil War artifacts, but I found myself wondering what exactly does pre-Civil War mean? And why did the Steamboat Arabia's journey during this time have a special significance? I took my own journey to uncover the timeline of events that intersected the Steamboat Arabia's path. I went down a bit of a rabbit hole discovering some of the origins and skirmishes leading up to the days of the Civil War. By the 1850s, the United States had become a nation torn between a southern pro-slavery identity and a northern abolitionist identity. Previously, slavery had become outlawed in the majority of the nations across the globe. But along the route, the issue was beginning to take a serious turn and heading the nation towards the Civil War. 1853 in Brownsville, Pennsylvania, the Steamboat Arabia is constructed and began her travels. Around the same time, these are some of the events that happened. Feel free to pause the video to see all the things that happened during the Arabia's lifetime. 1856, March 18th in Lexington, Missouri, when the preamble of the Civil War was just beginning to be played. Aboard the Steamboat Arabia, five boxes of rifles and two cannons are confiscated en route to abolitionist forces in Kansas. 
This is just a small sampling of some of the major historical events and life stories that can be found by exploring the Steamboat Arabia Museum. If you enjoy historical mysteries, you can follow the trail of clues that begins with a dropped letter and a buffalo coat and leads to the discovery of arms hidden in boxes mysteriously labeled as carpenter's tools. September 5th, 1856. In the river near Parkville, Missouri, the Steamboat Arabia, packed with goods bound for Omaha, Nebraska, hits a snag and slowly sinks into the murky waters of the Missouri River. Fortunately for us, though, her story does not end there. Visiting the museum is like walking through a doorway to another time. Amazing goods from around the world were recovered, including fine china from England, brandied cherries from France, and about five million beads from Italy or Bohemia, just to name a few. The amount of items recovered is truly mind-boggling. Practically each one would be worthy of being a treasured family heirloom handed down from generation to generation. But the amount amassed here truly has to be seen to be believed. I think it's important to note here that these items were being shipped in bulk for sale. That means most of these items never saw their potential for use and are pretty much brand new. 14 lightning rod insulation. 20 bed springs, which were the cutting edge of relaxation technology. 7,000 cigars and 6,000 hairpins. 5,000 leather boots and shoes that would never walk down a cobblestone lane. Nineteen spurs and twenty-four bridles. Two hundred and forty eight keys that would never turn a lock. One million nails and ten tons of lumber they would never be driven into. enough tools to stock a hardware store many times over. Two complete kits for building brand new houses. No word on if they found the instructions with them though. There's always new bits of history to find when visiting the museum. I only recently discovered that the panes of glass and these sectioned windows were actually recovered intact from the excavations. A total of 700 panes of glass were recovered. You never can tell just exactly where the museum stops and the collection begins. The Steamboat Arabia Museum is truly a wonderful place to visit. You should come on down and see what stories you can find on your own. Thanks for joining this adventure and watching the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this with all your friends and history lovers. Stay tuned for more Midwest mini adventures coming soon.